a great question. Um, you know, the great thing about doing originals is that it's just so much more rewarding when people finally at the end of the day love it and say, oh my gosh, I, you know, this is gonna play at my wedding. You know, that means so much more to know that that's your own words. I mean, it's obviously challenging because it's scarier, you know, to, it's not proven material that you're working with. It's, it's your own words and your own music. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a risk. And, and But I think people like that. People like feeling that, you know, you're making yourself vulnerable with your own words and music. Um, and the challenging thing, of course, about covers is that a version of that song already exists in the world and that people are familiar with it. So it's your challenge to add something to it to make it different or, you know, better or, or whatever you're going to do to it. Um, it's, it's, it's more challenging because there's a, something to compare it to. Also, Sam, um, you've been part of the Sing Off and I Will Insider. And of course, you two know Christina Grimmie. Have you ever had any plans of joining a TV singing competition? Or was it a conscious decision not to join? Yeah, I mean, you know, those kinds of shows are can be amazing for the people on them in that they give you that kind of immediate exposure to lots and lots of people. Um, but now, especially having worked behind the scenes and hosted a lot of the, the you know, background stuff on that, I, I'm more certain that I wouldn't want to do it uh, just because it is, you, the artists who go on that very much are sort of putting their faith in other people, in producers and, you know, the, the people who make the show happen. And sometimes it can be great, but also you're, you're really at the whims of, of a lot of other things. And at the end of the day, they're TV shows that are more for, you know, getting viewers than really for the integrity of the artist. So the fact that we've been able to create this platform where we can do things on our own terms and, and make our own success, I'll take that any day over, uh, over one of those kinds of shows. And Kurt, as a music producer, um, Sam has already mentioned what, where he thinks music is going. How about you? Where I think music is going? Uh, you know, uh, music, it kind of like goes in cycles, right? Like, right now there's a lot of influences from retro music coming back in, you know, with like old school synths, like bit crush sounds, um, a lot of like disco influences in many ways in modern music. Um, you know, I think where it's going is really anyone's guess because it, it's really driven by by songs that people love and, and artists people love. You know, someone like like Sam Smith I, I, is an artist that I listen to a lot now, and I listen to his stuff, and it's like you know that sounds like there's many influences from modern music and older music, but totally different than stuff that's on the radio. So, you know, where I think it's going, uh, great songs that people love. As far as the sonic sound, you know, that, that could be anything. And just one last question. Um, ever since you started making music, either by yourself or together, can you describe to us your first happy freak out moment that made you decide, I'm pushing through with this? Happy freak out moment. Man, there have been a lot of those happy freak out moments. Um, they, there have been many, like, they're different along the yeah. way. Like as Sam said, with the very first video, when it got a thousand views in basically a night, two nights, whatever it was, that was kind of like a, a mini freak out moment where it's like, oh my God, a thousand views, which of course is not good. Yeah, I mean, one of some of the most tangible ones have been like, we got to be on the Oprah show, got to be on the Ellen show, and those are kind of maybe the most concentrated freak outs where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm meeting these people, I'm doing this really iconic thing, and then getting to go back home and watch it with friends and family. Like, that's that's me on TV. Those are kind of just the most crazy surreal moments. Okay, thanks, guys.